Hey, I'm Ed. Tonight we're going to make boneless braised beef short ribs. That's a tongue twister. All right, let's review our ingredients for our braised sh short ribs. I'm using the boneless kind, bone off. Uh, I got about half a pound per person, because I like to have little leftovers, of boneless beef short ribs. Uh, for flavor, we're going to add some aromatics, carrots, celery, onion, garlic. I'm going to just saute these for a minute. We're going to first brown the beef. Uh, and then for a little fla extra flavor, I'm going to put bay leaf and thyme, and then we're going to braise the entire thing in liquid. I'm going to use chicken stock. You could use beef stock or wine or beer or a combination of like half wine, half stock, and a little bit of tomato paste for flavor. So let's chop up our ingredients and uh, be right back. Just going to use a very rough chop. It's just for flavor in the... Uh, in the braising liquid. Now, most braising recipes will tell you to brown the meat in the pot first. I actually like to put these on a baking sheet and just uh, you know, roast them at like high temperature, 425 for a few minutes. Uh, I got my veggies in. I'm going to put my tomato paste. I'm going to salt my meat before I put it on the roasting pan. And I let it warm up a little bit to room temperature. I'm going to throw in my bay leaf. A little bit of thyme. And as I mentioned, I'm going to use chicken stock as my liquid. I, you know, beef stock would be great, but it's a little too heavy, too much beef going on. This gives you a lighter flavor. I'm using four cups, and as I said, half a pound per person, so I have about three pounds here for six people. So we're going to just, like I said, roast these to get the little caramelization on the meat going, and then into the liquid and braise it for two and a half, three hours at 325. Gonna oil up our meat with just a little regular olive oil is fine, or vegetable oil, and so we get a little browning. Like I said, 425 oven, maybe 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes, just to get the browning. We don't even want to cook them. We don't care about that because the cooking is going to take place in the braising liquid. Okay, so we browned our meat instead of in the pot. I just did it on a sheet pan, 425, and I preheated our braising liquid. And I'm just going to put it in. If there's not enough liquid to kind of cover the meat, we can add a little bit more of whatever, water, wine, more stock. And into the oven, kind of low temp, 325, 300, whatever. And for about two to three hours, should be falling apart by the time we're done. And I'm going to pour these juices in there after this cools off. Okay, our braised short ribs have been in the oven for about three hours and they're pretty much just falling apart so we just serve it up take a portion I like to serve them with mashed potatoes and we got this beautiful juice that we have in here just use that as a little gravy you could reduce it down on the stovetop if you wanted but it's just great like this and there you have it braised short ribs boneless short ribs Enjoy! I am going to. I'm going to try this. This should be incredible. Mmm. That's fantastic. Enjoy it.